Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're going to be doing a tribute to David Bowie and we're going to be playing along with the Gene Genie. So, there's a couple of little harmonica parts in this. I'm not going to play an exact version of what Bowie did. It was a little bit rough and ready what he did, so I'm just going to neaten it up a bit and give you some ideas about how to play with this if you're playing it with a band or if you're just trying to um, play it on your own at home. Now, the song's in E, which means we need an A harmonica. If you don't know about different keys, don't worry, just know that you need an A harmonica. If you haven't got an A harmonica, if you've only got a C harmonica, for example, don't worry, you can still stick around because the tab will still apply for you if you want to play it at home on your own. You just won't be able to play it along with the record. So, let's get started. Let's have a little listen to the start of the track here because there is a little bit of harmonicas right from the start. Got that distinctive, um, uh, the distinctive guitar riff, which goes through the verse. Now the harmonica he's playing is a little bit rough. We've not got exact replication of that riff, but it's possible. So let's let's have a little look at that. So we got. One, two, three. That sort of thing. Okay, so how do you play that? Well, if you want to replicate that um, guitar riff, if we look at the exact notes if you like if we just look at the notes for now and then we can talk about the rhythm and kind of padding it out and making it a bigger sound so if we just look at the bare bones now we've got two draw three times bat bat that and then you could play the three blow instead of the two draw of course if you're more comfortable with that then it goes four blow da 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 na na da da and you can put a little extra two draw in before the four blow so So we've got an extra little three, uh, two draw. Sorry. So I go da, ba, 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 and that ba, it's a four blow. And then we have got a tricky note, really. Three draw semitone bend. Now this is a very good excuse to learn bending if you haven't learned to bend yet. So check my video on bending or other videos on bending technique. If you can't get a bent note, just play the three draw for now. So if we're bending it, we'd go. And then the next note would be the two draw. So. So after that three draw semitone bend, you start again with those two draws. So that we're going one, two, three, da da na one, two, three, da da na na, da 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 na na. You can almost think of the first three notes, those three two draws, as a separate thing. Because they're just kind of keeping us steady for the next riff. So if you played it along with the track. It's obviously quite fast. It's quite fast when you get to the track. But you can play it nice and slow if you just give yourself 
a little count in. So let's say one, two, three, four. Now you might hear that I'm maybe doing a little bit more than just the single notes. So again, this is a very good uh, excuse, good reason, good time to learn to tongue block, to tongue slap, these sort of techniques. So again, you can look at my lessons, other people's lessons on these. What I'm actually doing is... Each of those notes I'm kind of slapping. So I'm starting from a chord, kind of more than one note. And then I put my tongue on to isolate a single note. Now I'm not going to go into that technique here because it, you know, it's a whole different lesson on its own. But definitely something to be aware of if you want to fatten out that sound instead of just the single notes. If you want a crunchier sound. Now you could basically play that over and over for the whole of the verse of Jean Genie. Um, it's going to fit, the, the verse just kind of holds that chord the whole time. Um, so if you're backing someone up, you could do that. You could you could choose to drop in and out here and there. You don't have to play the full riff all the time. You, if, as long as you keep track of where you are in terms of the timing, you could drop in and out as appropriate. If you're singing it, you could also put um, kind of harmonica between the vocals. Again, if you kind of keep the time right. Um, the other thing to look at is the chorus. So let's have a little listen to what happens during the chorus. So there's that kind of distinctive riff. Nice little riff there. Um, again, there's a note that is a little bit of a bend, I would say, but if you haven't got the bend, it really doesn't matter. You can still play a very close note. So the three notes that I'm playing are the three draw semitone bend. If you've not got that, just play the three draw. Then the four blow, and then the four draw. Now when it gets to the four draw, I actually start the four draw with a little bit of a bend and I release that so you can hear the note kind of scooting up a little bit. Again, if you can't get that bend, just hold that four draw. But what I'm playing is one, two, three, four. Da -da. That's the three draw semitone bend. That's the four blow. That's the four draw starting with a bend and releasing it. If you've not got your bends yet, you could just play. And that's going to be fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That sort of thing. So three draw, four blow, four draw. And that kind of works in the chorus. So if we just go to the lead up to the chorus again. I hope you can hear this track, by the way. I realise it's a little bit low. So let's have a little listen. Da, 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 da. Now, it kind of only works between the vocals, so if you're singing it, that works quite well because you can. The Jean Gina don't know the words. Jean Gina still don't know the words. You can kind of fit it between the uh, the vocal lines there, um, so it works quite nicely. And if you're backing up, you'd maybe want to sing along and then play that. Um, or just play nothing, just keep quiet, and then between the vocals, 
um, play that line. That's really all that there is in terms of room for harmonica playing, and that's all that Bowie did was a rough approximation of that sort of thing. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to play along with Gene Genie. Um, good luck with playing along with that, and I'll see you again next week with a new song study. Until then, enjoy your playing. See you soon.